During the actual last day, it was like any other day. We dismissed our kids without knowing that we weren't going to have school and then it was decided that that was the safest thing to do. While it was scary and sad, I also was thinking, okay, well, this isn't forever. We'll be back to see our kids again and keep going with the year. A couple districts really planned on doing the online learning and that worked for their community, but that wasn't something that was going to be very easy to implement with the community that we work with. Everyone was kind of scrambling to get the basic needs of students met. I have 20 kids in my classroom and my first thoughts were, okay, how is this gonna impact the kids that I know rely on that hot meal at school every day? And how is that going to impact the kids who I know don't have internet at home? And how is that gonna impact the kids who maybe feel really isolated when they're at home and rely on you know, school for that social interaction? And then it's been an additional challenge getting technology set up, talking someone through how to set up, you know, our Canvas account or our Zoom account. Like I spent three hours one day helping um, one of my families who, who speaks Amharic set up all of the resources. But I also feel really grateful that I have a great group of um, people at my school and we're all collaborating to create um, online lessons. A couple of ones where they are wrong. I explain this in the activity okay. directions. Yeah. Like, so for that one, they have to cross it off. I think it's great, and I think it is a good third lesson for next week. For this lesson today, you will need lined paper or regular paper. Hoy quería compartir con ustedes una lección de arte. Go ahead and give that a try. Normally, you would never get emails at 9 p.m. from from colleagues, you know, or at like 1 a.m. from colleagues, and it just it feels like for me and for a lot of people that like work life separation looks different now. Good morning, Room 11 families and students. I am so excited to be with you today. So um, one thing that has happened since we started working from home, we no longer have like a table that we could eat at and like our couch is really hard to get to, but um, we're reminding ourselves that it's it's not forever. It's a, it's a temporary, although longer than anticipated, um, kind of change of pace. We're trying to make everything really flexible because we understand that every family is really struggling with different schedules, with different needs right now. You can just go all the way up to edit and then copy. I'll talk to mom and I'll talk to you know older brother and I'll talk to older sister and so it's kind of like, it's been a team effort. I have chosen a really special book um, for today's lesson, and that is because so many students have been telling me, you know, Miss McNulty, I've been feeling a little bit worried lately. Kids are just experiencing really high levels of stress. I had kids say, I'm worried that my grandparents are going to get sick and die. Or I'm worried because my mom is coughing. Or I'm worried that when I come back to school, not all my friends will be there. I wanted to share too that I have also been feeling a little bit worried and a little bit anxious. Um, and this is okay. And then I had the kids create a list of ways that they deal with worry and it was really sweet. You know, we'd have everything from, you know, you should definitely cuddle with your mom because that really helps me feel better when I'm worried um, to you should definitely have a dance party. I'm really hoping that we're able to go back to school in fall. I guess my biggest fear is that kids who already had higher needs now are possibly going to fall farther behind. And so um, my biggest job now is to figure out how to close those gaps with the resources that we have. Comcast Washington is proud to help our neighbors stay connected. 